Hi everybody, it's Nat from Studio Hacks here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can take an audio file and turn it into a video so you can upload that to YouTube. Now, YouTube is the second biggest search engine in the world behind Google. It's actually owned by Google so it's essentially the same thing as a music producer or audio content creator if you're making meditations, sound effects, field recordings, anything audio, YouTube is a fantastic opportunity to pop your content up for free and get that free traffic or just to point other people to your content. If you're a musician and you're not utilizing YouTube, you should be. It's a really fantastic resource. So for this particular tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the free program iMovie on a Mac to get this result. But if you are a PC user, I will be making a separate video just for PC users on how you can do this. And I will leave the link to that video in the description of this video. So if that's you, just click on that and you'll get the PC version. So I will be using iMovie. iMovie comes for free with any Mac operating system. However, these days it is not pre-installed like it used to be. It used to just be installed with the Mac operating system. Now all you do is you go to the App Store, sign in with your Apple ID and download iMovie and you're ready to go. So I've just opened iMovie here and I've gone to create a new project. So it's a really simple, I mean the concept of this is really simple. All you're doing is you're grabbing an audio file of any kind and a still image and you're just throwing them both into a video editor and exporting it as a video file. So um, to create the still images, I use a free online tool called Canva. So um, first of all, actually, before I do that, I'll just show you here on the desktop, I have my audio file here and I need to create a still image to, to go with that audio file. So this is a free tool that I use. I really love it. It's called Canva and you can log in with your Google account or just create a free account with your email and you don't need to pay anything to use the basic version. I've been using the non-paid version for a very long time. So in Canva here, you create a new design basically and they have all these pre-formatted designs. So I'm going to type in YouTube thumbnail. So here we go, YouTube thumbnail. And then they'll have all these templates basically that you can utilize and it's automatically the right size, the right resolution, everything's done for you. So you can go through all these templates and just click on whatever one you want out of the free ones. And then this is the template. So now we just need our own image to make this our own. I tend to just go and search on Google images and find something, find a non copyrighted image download it to my desktop or my downloads folder by right clicking on the image and going save image as and then I simply go to Canva and you can actually drag I've downloaded that image of a forest you can just drag it off your desktop drop it over here into Canva and then you can use this um, image you just drag it onto the template you'll see it sort of snaps there and you can use it on any of these templates and then you just change the text so um, to basically whatever your video is about. So then you can download this image by hitting download and then select where you want to save it. So now that you have a thumbnail, an image, you simply just, um, you can do do it one of two ways. You can just drag in um, your media from the desktop um, or you can go up to my media here and you can add that in. So I'm just going to drag in my audio file straight to the timeline here, drag and drop like this. And hopefully, there we go. There it is. It just took a minute to catch up with me. So that's my audio file. So we've got audio. Let me go all the way back to the start here. Now we just need image. So I'm just going to use this. Uh, no, so you need the, you need the right size that the, the preformatted image. So I might actually download that Canva image quickly. Here we go. Download this. I will, I'll use this as an example because it's important to get the right dimensions um, for your 
you know, YouTube videos so that you don't have any black on the sides or, um, you know, you don't have any empty space basically. So this download here should just take a half a second, hopefully. And when it's ready, I'll drag this in as well. So you can see on the preview, it's automatically uh, the right size for my video. So this is just the audio of a remix that I did the other day um, for a lo-fi. Um, it's a lo-fi remix of Animal Crossing, which is on my YouTube channel. I'm going to use this little zoom panel. So you just kind of need to change the length of the image to exactly match the video. And when you drag in a um, image from the desktop, it's going to automatically apply what's called the Ken Burns effect. You'll see as I scrub through this, it's sort of zooming in and out. I just want to still image. So I'm going to double click on that image there. And instead of the Ken Burns effect, I'm going to just go crop to fit. And that way it will basically snap to the full size when you go crop to fit or just fit, um, it will fit the full screen. And then I'm going to now simply export this because we've got audio, we've got an image. I'm going to go file and then select share. And then I'm going to select, you can upload it straight to YouTube from here. I don't tend to do that because I like to just have the file for future uh, use. So I select file every time. And then it's going to give you a few options, um, you know, 720p um, quality, high, best, things like that. Um, I think when I created this project, I selected 720p. So that's why it's got the 1080p grayed out. Um, you can have better quality or you can have faster. I'm just going to select uh, low for the moment. So it exports this really quickly for me. Um, and then when you go next, it's going to ask you where you want this file to go. And I will pop that on the desktop. So um, when this is finished exporting, um, I'm just going to pause this video. I'm going to call it meditate or YouTube. When this is finished exporting, you'll see up on the top right hand corner right here. Um, I'm just going to open this up a bit. So there's a little circle right here, and this is showing that the video is currently exporting. So it's just going to take the length of this video here. And it's going to automatically figure out that that's the start and that's the finish from your events that you have in there. But if you click on this little circle, it will show you that it is exporting this movie right here. And it will kind of, it's like a progress bar, but instead it's like a, a little pie chart here. So you'll see that it's telling me it's going to take two minutes for this uh, particular video to export. Okay, so it's finished the export there. It says share successful exporting uh, my movie one was successful. So then this video should just be the audio, which is my music remix there, plus the image. And we can play that by selecting it and hitting the space bar. Let's have a quick look to see whether that worked. Beautiful. So that video is ready to upload to YouTube and you're ready to go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions uh, or if you had any problems, you couldn't follow something that I did, please leave a comment in the comment section and I will endeavor to help you out. And if you found this content valuable, make sure you subscribe to the channel, pop the notifications bell on so you see all of my future content on music production, video editing, and all those kind of uh, helpful tips. So I'll see you in the next video. Okay.